overtime here at Sun Devil Stadium. Missouri mounted a thrilling comeback in the fourth and then missed a 48-yard field goal attempt by Russell. Arizona State will start with the ball. Pump fake, Osweiler's gonna take a shot to the end zone and he overthrew the intended target, Mike Willie. A great effort by Edwards out there. There was a stop and go and he just tied up Willie and didn't let him get by him. You know, I'm still reeling over the icing your own kicker. Two timeouts were called by Gary Pinkle prior to the missed kick in regulation. Second and 10 now. Now they keep it on the ground with Cameron Marshall. And he fights ahead for a gain of about three. So Pinkle looking for his defense to contribute. They were down 30 to 16 when Osweiler had a touchdown run to open up the fourth. The big third down here. Third and seven. They only rushed three against Osweiler, and he's got it complete to Flugrad. Huge night for Aaron Flugrad. You know, Tess, they decided to double Mike Willie, number one, up to the right, and they left Flugrad in single coverage. And I don't get that when Flugrad's been the guy that's been killing them all night long. He's got eight catches for 181 yards and two touchdowns. First and goal now. First possession of overtime. Cameron Marshall is wrapped up by Sheldon Richardson. A few years ago, he was the number one defensive tackle prospect in the country. Had to go the JUCO route and then came back to Mizzou, who he originally had committed to. 6'4", 290. Big guy He's inside. He's a monster. Very talented. Second and goal now as they are backed up after that big play by Richardson. I don't see Flugrad in the game. Loaded backfield instead. And he swings it out to Miles. Here goes Miles. Touchdown, Sun Devils. That is just the fly sweep with a long handoff. Just a little pass while Miles is in full stride and he gets to the edge faster than Missouri can react to it. Now Alex Garut, remember, in the second quarter, Garut had an extra point blocked. Xavier Gooden blocked an extra point in the second quarter. And Garut does make this a seven point margin. Surrey has to answer with seven to force that second overtime. Uh, Miles with that catch and run. He's come up big for them tonight. Well, now you turn to Missouri and Franklin, and Franklin has been really productive through the air in the second half of this ball game. He has 25 of 40 for 314 yards. And this is why when you win that coin toss in overtime, you choose defense first, so you know what you have to do, and they know right now it's got to be seven. Fly sweep instead, they stick with Franklin, and he is stopped right at the line of scrimmage by Junior Agnelli. Twenty-two straight regular season non-conference game wins for Missouri. Second best in the country. That's on the line now.
Franklin. Big play by Agnelli again. And it'll make for a third and ten. He's taking off when he sees the lane and not staying in the pocket, trying to win the game from the pocket. Gets to the 15 yard line. As loud as it's been here in recent years. Sprinting to the far side away from pressure. And that's going to be short of the line to make to West Camp. So the game will be on the line with a fourth down in our first overtime. And a timeout is called by Mizzou. Considering that they had to rely on Agnew for that touchdown to get them back in the ball game. With his size down here, he's your best receiver. Maybe he's your guy now. TJ Moe's been open most of the day, but they seem to have gone away from him. Maybe because they don't think Franklin can see him in the middle of the field. But Agnew might be the guy. How about this? The entire Arizona State team came out to meet their defense. You remember at the end of last season when Osweiler gathered everybody together and said, I'm sick of losing games like this. Well, collectively, this program is sick of losing games like this. They want a win against a ranked team. They could get it here on this play if Mizzou cannot get it to the 15. Fourth and five. The Sun Devils have done it. The win they were looking for. Been a long time since they felt this good, and that big guy has earned it. Six foot eight, Brock Osweiler, who came up big. High expectations this season, Rod, and are off to a good start. Well, and fans are actually coming on to the field. Arizona State marked this game as the one that they felt could jumpstart a special season for them. And their fans bought into that, and they gave a blackout tonight. Grant Russell, the kicker for Missouri, who had a chance to win it with a 48-yard attempt in the closing seconds. Couldn't get it done, but Arizona State could in overtime. Amen. Coach, what is the significance of this win and this night right now for Arizona State? Give me a heart attack is what it's given. Uh, it was a great football game. Uh, Missouri played great, came back. Uh, we made some mistakes. They made some mistakes, some turnovers. But to, with this great crowd that we had, to finally win it in overtime is just a great win for us. You joked about the heart attack. What was the message along the sidelines heading in overtime? Well, just uh, we got the ball first. We felt if we could score, we'd just see what happens. I, I didn't think it would just go one. I thought it might go a couple. All right, Coach, Good congratulations. Time. Joe? Thanks, Eamon. They were up 30 to 16. Missouri came roaring back. And now they're passing around the pitchfork. Fear the fork is what they say here. Osweiler and company rod may have a bright future ahead of them. Let's go back to that last play, the incompletion on the fourth and five. Yeah, fourth and five, and they thought they had something working towards the corner. TJ Moe was trying to get out there. Timing was disrupted and overthrown. Not even close. Pressure came from Jamar Jarrett there. 
And Dennis Erickson, been some lean years since they were good back in 07. That's the last time they beat a ranked team. And now the win streak for Missouri is over in terms of regular season non-conference games. They had won 22 straight. But Pinkle and company will head back to Columbia with an overtime loss. Another thriller on Friday nights. TCU Baylor last week. You get the overtime this week. Our final score, Sun Devils 37 to 30 in overtime. Coming up next is Sports Center. Hey, welcome to college football second weekend. Isn't it great? Should be a good one on Saturday. Coming up next is Sports Center for Rod Gilmore, Eamon McEnany, and our entire crew on the Friday Night Prime Show. I'm Joe Tessitore. Have a great night and make it include Sports Center right now.